This is a young female infant with a history of upper extremity weakness and decreased range of motion. There is a reported history of macrosomia and birth dystocia. These, imaging, uh, these images demonstrate well-circumscribed ovoid T2 stir hyperintense lesions at the C7, T1, and T1, T2 disc levels on the left. On the high-resolution images, there are no traversing nerve roots at those sites. There is displacement of the left lateral dural margin towards the midline on the axial images. The findings are most compatible with traumatic meningocele secondary to nerve root avulsion in the setting of macrosomia and birth dystocia. Nerve root avulsion in the lower cervical and upper thoracic spinal region is typically between the levels of C5 and T1 and will manifest as a brachial plexus injury clinically. Avulsion is typically a result from severe traction forces exerted on the upper limb. Patients typically present with complete or partial motor paralysis. Upper brachial plexus lesions typically involve the nerve roots of C5 and C6, leading to defects in the shoulder muscles and biceps. Involvement of the C7 nerve root affects the musculature at the wrist. Lower brachial plexus lesions involve the C8 to T1 nerve roots, result in paralysis of the forearm flexors and intrinsic muscles of the hand. The most common causes of brachial plexus injury overall are motor vehicle accidents, with other causes related to birth trauma, work accidents, sports injuries, incision and gunshot wounds, as well as patient malpositioning during surgery.